Okay guys, so so far what we have seen is how does an agency is created? How is it created? How does an agent forms a, a relationship of agency with the principal? But something which we haven't understood, something which we haven't studied so far is what are the different liabilities of an agent as well as principal. So one thing is clear that principal is liable or responsible for everything as an agent what an agent does as an agent with the third parties but does it make that agent is not at all responsible if that is the situation agent is going to do a lot of things so there are certain situations where agent is also liable now what does it mean generally uh, section 230 says that in the absence of any contract to that effect an agent cannot be personally enforced contracts enforced into by him on behalf of his principal nor he is personally bound by them so agent is not responsible generally because for everything it is the principal who is responsible agent is free from all those obligations but there are certain situations where agent is also really responsible personally what are those situations situation number one yes under section 230 we are talking about situation number one the agent acting for a foreign principal now what does it mean if your principal is sitting in a foreign ground where our law does not work if something goes wrong if the third party who is entering into a contract with principal as an agent there is an agent who is acting on behalf of principal but ultimately as we are saying principal is responsible but that principal is sitting in a foreign gland what is going to happen can this third party enforce this contract against somebody who is sitting on a foreign land no then who should be uh, you know the third party has a right against that right is against the agent so when an agent is acting on behalf of principal who is in the foreign ground at that time agent becomes personally liable right when an agent uh, contracts for the sale or purchase of goods for a merchant residing abroad he is presumed to be personally liable simple next it is the agent acting for undisclosed principal if i as an agent i'm not disclosing your name that you are my principal i'm saying that i am a mere an agent i'm working for somebody but who is that somebody until and unless that somebody is known to the third party that third uh, principal cannot be uh, what we can say uh, liable can be liable it is going to be the agent who is sh who should be liable for those kind of things as well right next the agent makes himself expressly liable if i am saying that i will be personally liable for whatever happens then in that situation it doesn't matter whether we are whether i am entering on my behalf or my principal's behalf if i am saying i will be liable i will be liable because third party is assuming it to be so don't make things to express next time when we are going for a contract right next it is principal cannot be sued there are situations where principal cannot be sued then who who should be sued for those situations that is going to be the agent now what are those situations a classic example is somebody as foreign sovereign or maybe a minor minor cannot be sued so who will be sued it is going to be the agent foreign sovereign if you are suing a foreign sovereign that means you are suing the entire nation of who's this foreign sovereign is so at that time again it is going to be the agent if that kind of principle it is right next agency coupled with interest what does it mean interest means i am acting as an agent on your behalf but i am buying some property for you but in that property i also have a 10 percent share so in that situation i will also be personally liable to that extent because 10 percent of the property belongs to me as well 10 percent of the goods 10 percent of the subject matter belongs to me so if agent has some interest in the subject matter in that time agent will also be personally liable to that extent right next usage of trade usage of trade means something that is used in the trade something that is the practice of the trade something that is the custom of the tra trade in that situation if it is said that agent will be responsible then agent will be responsible because that has been practiced for years the classic example is jobber jobber acting uh, on behalf of broker so in that situation jobber, jobber can bind broker now what does it mean i believe most of you would have seen this uh, you know classic web series we can say scam 1992 based on the Harshal Mehta story now the scam 1992 in the beginning in I, I don't remember if it is first episode or second episode but it is in the very beginning of the story itself when Harshad Mehta is acting for a broker he enters into the BSE's uh, trading ring and there he is performing as a job but he is buying and selling things for those things broker is responsible so that is again one example where trade is a practice it is a customary trade of practice where you know one person can bind the other at that time also agent can be responsible right next it is agent acts beyond his authority now you have given me certain authority to act as your agent but i'm crossing that limit i'm crossing that authority i'm doing certain things on my own so things that i'm doing on my own i will be responsible not you because 
you did not give me authority to do so so at that time also agent becomes personally liable next it is pretended agent pretended agent means i am pretending that i am your agent but you have never appointed me as an agent what does it mean now again something similar to it was agent by holding out or express agent certain things were there in the last class we have seen let's come back to this thing pretended agent means there was a situation where principal is saying that this is my agent and agent is not saying anything so at that situation we are saying agent is assumed to be agent because third party believed so but here there is no invol involvement of principal agent himself is declaring that i am an agent but principal has never appointed or never agreed for anything as such in that situation agent is responsible not the principal because you are pretending yourself to be agent without even having the authority right that is there well, i can read it out for you a person untruly represented himself to be authorized agent of another and thereby inducing a third person to deal with him as such agent is liable if his alleged employer does not ratify his acts to make compensation to the other respect in respect of the loss or damage which he has incurred by so doing now what does it mean pretended agent means performing something as an agent without being an agent but later on if the principal ratifies those things that means agency by ratification but what if not that is something we are seeing here as pretended agent right next mistake or fraud agency does not mean that you are agent for doing fraud you are do agent for committing mistakes or fraud whatever misrepresentation mistake fraud you do as an agent you are only responsible not the principal so this is a thumb rule again nobody will appoint somebody as an agent to commit frauds right and if does that is something illegal that does not come under that does not fall under the you know uh, what you call it as purview of indian contract act right because something illegal we are talking about so if the fraud or mis misrepresentation committed by the agent is for the act beyond the agent's authority the principal will not be liable but the agent is personally liable to third parties next agent appoints sub agent without authority now what does it mean you have appointed me as an agent i am appointing a sub agent without your permission what does it mean this means that the sub agent is doing something on my behalf not your behalf i will be responsible to the third parties whatever my sub agent does and since i have done something appointing sub agent without your permission i am liable to you also so agent is liable in both both the scenarios to both the parties third party as well as the main principal we are talking about so just let let me just read it out for you what is written in this slide when the appointment of sub agent is without authority the principal is not bound by the acts of the sub agent liable to the principal the agent as the principal of the sub agent is responsible for acts of the inappropriately appointed sub agent both to the principal and to third parties right this is again under section 238 next we are having agent signs a contract on his own name if i am your agent it does not mean that everything i am going to do is on your behalf only i can do certain things on my behalf also i can buy a property right buying property is not illegal so something that i am doing on my personal capacity only i will be responsible as an agent not you as a principal because i am not doing things for you so whenever i am acting on your behalf i should be mentioning those things but when i am not mentioning that means i am acting on my own behalf and that situation i as an agent will be responsible not you as a principal right agent signing negotiable instruments will be liable personally unless it is clearly shown that the signature is put in the capacity of agent for on behalf of the principal right this is what we are you know trying to say by li personal liabilities of an agent 